Hey everyone, Tony Dragon here, and I'm back to the reactions. Sorry it took so long. Uh, I want to make it up to you by immediately starting as soon as possible. Uh, Star Wars Rebels Season 3 trailer. Um, I love the first two seasons of Rebels. Uh, kind of sad that, you know, I'm still kind of bitter, I suppose, of the whole expanded universe being thrown to the trash to make room for Disney's own interpretation of the universe. Um, there are some good aspects to that and bad aspects, but we'll see where it goes. I'll give Disney a chance and really see where they can take us. You know, if they really do give us amazing stories, I won't mind it as much. Um, not, not the biggest fan of, um, Star Wars, at least the cinematic universe in general. I love the movies. I really do. Well, you know, save prequels the prequels are their own thing um but i don't get as excited as everyone else i mean when it was announced star wars episode 7 is coming out everyone's going crazy i'm just like okay cool i'll watch it i'll probably like it and for the most part i did um i will say i didn't like the main character though uh don't even remember her name but i'd remember finn and i remember poe and chewbacca and Han Solo, and you know, Princess Leia, if she even is considered Princess Leia, and at this still at this point, she's the rebel leader now. Um, but yeah, oh wait, Ray was her that her name, the main character, Ray? Yeah, she was just boring. And oh, yeah, I remember Kylo Ren, obviously, because he just stood out so well. <laughs> He stood out so much to me. Like, as soon as I saw him, I'm just like, Hello! <laughs> I couldn't help but just look at him in awe. I was like, Oh my god, he's that kind of character. <laughs> oh, he's gonna last in my memory for a long time. Whether it'll be good or bad, we'll see. But for right now, I'm gonna sit here in awe. <laughs> that was kind of my response to him. Uh, but Ray, yeah, her, my response to her was mostly just like, yeah, pretty much like that. Um, I don't know, maybe they'll improve her in the, in the next, uh, because Luke had a lot more room for development than Ray. With Ray, I just felt like her only goal is to find out where she's from, or at least like her parents. You know, but that's not a character, that's just a goal. You know, that's a mission, you know, a dream, supposedly. Uh, while Luke, yeah, he had a goal, which was similar to hers, like wanting to get off the planet and explore, I suppose. But he really had a lot of room for improvement. He was impatient, he was whiny, he, he really needed to grow. And like, people say he was so grating, but that's the point. He needed to grow, he needed to improve. We have a perfect character with no room for improvement. We're not going to have any real connection with her. So, but again, we'll see where it goes with episode 8 and episode 9. Uh, I am kind of excited for Rogue One, though. That looks pretty good. Um, although, again, the main character, just from the trailer alone, like maybe it's different in the movie, hopefully. The trailer, again, just portrays her as the snarky, smart-ass you know, badass, uh, heroine who's just, again, perfect. Now, again, she might be more flawed than Rey because it's this insinuated that maybe she can go to the dark side, maybe she can make a mistake, she's reckless, she can get people killed. That would be amazing. That would be like, finally, we have some real character here with Star Wars, you know, again, finally, like, not, not that prequel stuff. Um... But yeah, we'll see how it goes. Trailers, you know, they got me excited, but at the same time got me worried. You know, but that's what trailers do. They get you excited, but they also make you worry. Um, but Rebels Season 3, what do I have expectations for this? Well, more Darth Vader, because he was amazing, you know, near the end for Season 2. Um, he really just has so much presence. Uh, the Inquisitors, I, I wasn't the biggest fan of them, so maybe no more of them. But there'll probably be more of them. We'll see. Um, I do know Ahsoka is still alive. 
uh, clearly because we saw her walk into the temple and she wasn't glowing, so she wasn't ghost form. Um, uh, forgive me because I'm not remembering names here because I watch so much TV, movies, video games, stuff like that, that there's like literally thousands of names going around in this head. Not all of them are going to be able to match up to every character. Um, but the master and apprentice, the master, he's blind now. But his master of the force helps him still, you know, you know, survive in battle, which is pretty cool. He has that mask, you know. He's suppose what do they call sentinels or I guess knights, warriors. I'm forgetting Jedi Knight, Jedi Warrior, Jedi Sentinel, some one of those things. And now the student, he's probably gonna need to step up his game, become more mature, you know, more dedicated in his training. Um, for all he knows, Ahsoka, Ahsoka is dead. Darth Vader's still alive out there. You know, they, he, you know, obviously Darth Vader will just make his, uh, you know, survival kind of known to the whole new world, to the world. It's like I'm still alive. I'm still ruling over all of you. So he'll probably hear about it. It's just like that motherfucker killed Ahsoka, even though we know, as the viewers, that Ahsoka's not dead, as we saw at the end of season two. Um, but really, maybe this will really push him to, you know, really just become more motivated, more driven to, you know, uh, just increase his abilities and, you know, just really drive through the enemy. Um, hopefully not in the wrong way, like he's become reckless and he's just going out there endangering the, his friends because he really wants to get revenge kind of storyline because that's played out at this point. It's still interesting, but I kind of want to see a different, you know, different road. I want to see him take a different pathway. Um... But yeah, I'm talking already way longer than the trailer. So let's start the trailer in three, two, one. Lucasfilm, all right. Ahsoka, no! That's the scores. Yep. So oh, can't see. Got that sweet beard now too. Nice. I will never let my friends get hurt again. Oh, that's right. There's a good chance he he could become to the dark side. What if there are secrets we can learn from it that'll help us destroy the Sith? That's where the secrets in that thing almost destroyed you. There are Imperial cadets in the Sky Strike Academy who wish to defect to the Rebels. This is Ty SS25. You can call me Wedge. Welcome to the Rebellion. Nice. I still can't believe we're here to break this guy out of prison. My friends, my friends! Nice! Ah, Woo! I give to you Red Lem Station. Oh, they really changed her, her look. Wow. So what's in it for you two? Which is untold. That sort of thing. So we'll split the treasure. <laughs> split the treasure. Oh, that's a classic. He's such a kidder. Oh. Come at a price. Huh? These rebels have proven particularly stubborn. How do you intend to solve this problem? I need someone who sees a bigger picture. The Empire is getting better at anticipating our moves. I underestimated the commander. The previous attacks were clumsy. But this one was swift. Precise. To defeat an enemy, you must know them. Not simply their battle tactics, but their history, philosophy, art. Grand Admiral Thrawn. Caravast. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> oh, Darth Maul again. Jedi of Sith, light and dark. Okay. Once a secret is known, it cannot be unknown. Your anger 
gives you strength. I will call the rebels of our beats by beat. I must become more powerful. They'll be the architects of their own destruction. Yeah. The black. to destroy the city. Oh wow, this was Ooh, this one left me speechless for a while. Um yeah, so Ezra was his name. Sorry. Um so yeah, that's what I forgot, you know, Darth Maul and the whole, you know, possibility that he can become um uh go to the dark side, you know, maybe in this season. Which is really great because that's something we really needed to delve into. Um even Mark Hamill, you know, when he was uh, recording his scenes for back way back when when he was Luke Skywalker um, brought up the ideas like what if maybe Luke went to the dark side after killing Darth Vader and he became the next big bad you know because Mark Hamill really wanted to you know did he didn't want to portray you know Star Wars as having a happy ending everything's resolved everything's neat and tidy and it take and now we see it technically isn't you know the rebels are still needed. Um, they're still, you know, the Empire to deal with, or First Order, you know, they're still, they still have a lot of reach, a lot of power, you know, just killing the Emperor doesn't disband the entire, you know, the entire, uh, you know, society, it just, you know, creates a va power vacuum, like multiple generals trying to come in and take power, and who knows, maybe one of those generals is worse than the Emperor, he's more brutal, more vicious. Uh, so yeah, you know, that's why some people who would say it's just like, the Emperor took over with politics, you know, less of a body count than what the Rebels are doing. And yeah, that's true, it makes sense, because what the Rebels are doing ends up getting people hurt, killed, and, you know, you can justify as much as you want with the end result, but at the end of the day, the Emperor's method of taking over the whole galaxy was just so perfect and subtle that no one needed to die. You just like coming in here, like this place, mine now. Okay, rebels, we'll kill as many people or blow as much shit up until you give us back the galaxy. You know, it's actually funny when you portray it that way. You know, but uh, obviously, I'm still on the side of the rebels, obviously. Um, but yeah, ooh, Grand Admiral Thran. <laughs> I. That's just amazing in itself. There's nothing I can say. I mean, just having him back is... <sighs> um, but yeah, it looks like um, maybe there's not going to be any Darth Vader in this. Maybe he's just going to be, again, in the background every now and then. Like, Well, this this might be a first half trailer, like they did last season. They gave us a first half trailer trailer of the first half of the season then another trailer for the second half so maybe Darth Vader will be back who knows um but yeah I'm hoping uh, this one's more character driven you know less of the whole we need to you know continue the the fight to increase the rebels armies the rebels forces you know our weaponry it's just like didn't we get it I mean obviously we still need more of that because the rebel army needs to improve and increase but you kind of get tired of the same story over and over again. It's like, if we get this weapon, we'll be even that much more powerful. If we get this ship, we'll be even that more powerful. If we get their help, we'll be even more powerful. Just like, like okay, just let's just keep doing the same thing over and over again. Mm. Uh, but so, yeah, hopefully, like it looks like, uh, again, more of the characters we know and love. You know, just... Giving us more of that uh, great storytelling with them and great dialogue. They really changed the design of um, of um, again. Forgive me, the names escape me because so many names go by that I can't remember them all. The Mandalorian girl that's on there on the rebel side. You know, I I love her character a lot. She's really badass. They, yeah, it looks she looks really different. And I not just not it's not just the hair. I know it's not just the hair, but the face. Like they really gave her sharper features. Um, so yeah, you know, even um, Ezra, even with his haircut, 
again, his face looks different. Like, like they matured in, you know, just, again, sharper features. So, yeah, they look, they might have done some little tweaking here and there with the character design, you know, which is pretty cool. Um, you know, if you have a chance to improve the character's overall design, I say go ahead, do it. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm excited. This has just got me hyped up. Um, so, yeah, when that premieres, uh, damn it, I don't think I, coming this fall, so possibly end of August, early September, possibly. Or maybe mid-August. I would say mid-August. Mid-August is about the right time to do so. That's a good time to do so. Like, as maybe like as soon as school starts. Again, maybe. Um, but yeah, until then, like, I'll obviously watch the episodes and maybe and review it. Uh, so, until then, I'm Tony Dragon, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.